Hey guys, World of Dust Gaming here, and today I'm bringing you the brand new skin Space Ronin. A little bit late, you might have seen it on some other channels before, but as I achieved it in the Codex, I just wanted to pick up this opportunity to show you some fresh Richter gameplay. Um, to be fair, he's one of the heroes that I don't really connect to. Um, I think he's quite, quite special with all these abilities that make him um, different as soon as you hit other terrain. So I would, um, I would say I need a lot of practice with him to make him shine. So the first half of the game uh, went quite well and the second half of the game um, didn't go so well anymore. So this is kind of like, a, I have mixed feelings about this. Um, as you can see, I have picked up the skin as well as this uh, kind of yellowish hair color. Um, that's a new feature that you will find with probably more heroes in Arena of Valor as it brings some money to the cash account of Tencent um, which basically means that you can not only um, differentiate your hero with a certain skin but you can also uh, change hair colors and other styles um, which is just an adaption to or like um, some kind of improvement that they have installed after those kind of wacky dances um, that hit Arena of Valor a couple of weeks or a couple of months before and um, this goes into a more customized uh, version of Arena of Valor. The League of Legends players will know that from the from the chroma that you can buy within League of Legends which uh, basically doesn't change the skin that you have been using but it changes the, the whole color style. So this is not something that Kind of improves your game it's just something that uh, changes your physical appearance and therefore you are not recommended to do so if you want to save your money don't do it but otherwise as i have bought the codex um, as i always do because i do get some bonuses from it um, you will have that improvement but i have um, picked up some discussions on reddit where people were actually complaining about it because they're like okay i don't get anything from i don't get anything from the from the stuff that Arena of Valor is actually um, doing at the moment. Here you can see that we picked up a nice duo kill. Um, Diochan just smashed Alistair to the ground and with the two forces combined of her and, and, and I we were able to pick up Grok as well. Grok should have retreated here. I think they had the feeling that everything would run quite smooth as soon as they entered our uh, part of the lane. But unfortunately for them, we were able to kill both of them. So this frees me up a little bit. Um, I'm going back here because I don't feel that against Greg being quite tanky, um, I stand that much of a chance because as soon as he lands a lucky hook, I will be under tower and then I have to use all my abilities to get out and I didn't want to come into that situation. So I retreated here and went back to miss a little bit of wave but it doesn't really matter because the wave was just and here we go there's the there's that hook that i always fear um i was so um busy catching that wave that i ended up being a really nice hook target for grog but as you can see um wave wave clear time that richter has is obviously a lot better than grog has uh, Ruck on the on the lane is something that you usually don't see on solo lane because his wave clear is just really really bad like he's got a lot of cool control abilities where he can actually support his team really really well um, but in terms of wave clear the only thing that I have been seeing him do was trying to finish off minions under tower um, now he exposed himself I don't know why he did that you can actually tell that there's going to be some kind of hook um, I shouldn't buy items here in the brush. That is something that is something stupid. But with Richter's 2, uh, which makes him invincible for a short duration of time, e you are quite you are quite lucky to do so. I don't know why I'm being that aggressive here. The Grack misses his hook here, which is actually good for me because otherwise I would have been under tower again. And here comes Hayate. Uh, the only problem that I have is that I have been pushing wave quite hard. Uh, to free me up for some other actions and I can't really 
um, use the bait play. Like usually, if I if I would see a uh, friendly hero in the in the in the income in the upcoming purposes, I would basically just do the following. I would try to try to retreat so that it doesn't really um, so that it's not too obvious, and then I would try to try to go out and just catch the enemy hero. And this is like really unfortunate for Alistair again. Uh, he doesn't stand a chance against the three of us after we have killed Maganga and Necroth was be being killed. So pretty pretty bad team fight situation for the other team and we're able to finish them off quite easily, um, not having any victims out of that fight. And it just gives me another opportunity to push that lane and to get that tower to actually be even more efficient in terms of supporting my team going into... Uh, situations where we want to have numbers, we want to be more in uh, the team fights against the enemy, and that's always that's always the case when you are actually um, getting the first tower. So, so this is like your after roaming and uh, trying to kill other enemies and getting a lead in kills. That's always what you want to achieve. The first tower is the most important one. Um, we do have two cannon minions on the second tower. Grug misses his hook again which really lucky for me and i'm just going back to get some farm to farm a little bit up because i just have the feeling that richter while he is strong using his abilities as soon as you're out in the open you have to um you are dependent on your items and this is basically what i'm doing right now don't ask me why i um was basically just investing stuff in my two my advice would always be level your first ability, then level your second ability, and you will uh, level your ult every time it comes up on level 4, level 8, and level 12, which is um, the recommendation here. But you should always go with your with your 1 first, and then afterwards your 2 is, is maximized. Your 1 is the main, the main damage dealer, even if you can't um, really um, use the this kind of changing terrain features which is basically like your best shot is to go into an enemy team fight using your two as i have done here and again they are completely wiped out the three of them um, if you cannot abuse that terrain effect to the fullest purpose or the maximum you will always be there using your auto attacks and of course your auto attacks benefit pretty much from the stuff that you have been buying before so use your one use your two and then everything should be all right um, exposing myself too much here to get into the tower because we are pushing quite hard here um, we killed loads of enemies before so this is a really good shot but the team is grouped together and this is like this is a team fight i get caught by the by the greg old um, going in here to kill or help to kill nakrov and unfortunately I was too close to Yorn, and um, as many of you will know, warriors do have often a hard time against AD carries if they get stronger, but as you can see from the uh, death meter that you can see on the top screen, or top the, the, the top thing of the screen, we are really, really, really uh, dominating this game. 17 versus 5, that's gonna tell you something. We had uh, the first Abyssal Dragon, which is always crucial. You want to have that no matter what. And um, therefore, we are in a really nice position to kind of finish the game. Hayate is on level 13. That is great. He's our, he's our jungler. Um, he's doing fine. And the rest of the team as well. Everyone got plenty of kills. Uh, I mean, if you divide them by five, and I have three, so everyone has at least three kills, which is kind of the stuff that you want, like that's an ideal game. Um, got my Gilded Greaves here, just to minimize crowd controlling effects. You could could do Sonic as well as the um, Hermes Selected. Hermes Selected is also a really good pick because it actually helps you to roam, which is something that you want to have as a jungler, and I don't know why Yawn runs into the lane like that. He doesn't have any armor, he doesn't have any escape mechanism, like there is no gap closer no exit tool that he can actually rely on so i don't know like what was he thinking about that that was that was quite strange um towers down here quite 
quite quickly. Um, Hayate and I are teaming up, so Hayate got loads of damage right now. He got the piercing ability as well. Uh, Grok misses another hook. I don't know why he tried to hook there. Like, what was that? Like, what was he thinking? And um, we are just so aggressive at the moment. Like, we're re pushing really hard. Um, one tower is already gone. Uh, they do only have two towers left on the on the baseline of the core. I go in here again, and I kind of like that was the plan was basically to sacrifice myself so that the that my team can can wipe them. But uh, as you see, it turns out even better. We are able to to kill them with uh, minimize minimize effects. I don't know why I did that. Um, but I think I had a plan, or I didn't. Like basically, it would, it would be a three zero six at this point. But as I said, like I, I don't feel that comfortable with Richter. He's just not the the, the hero that I that I like from the playstyle. Um, it's just that I wanted to show you guys the skin on my channel as well, so that uh, that you have some nice gameplays, so that you have some comments with that. And um, I'm calling. Uh, the um, Dark Slayer here right now because that's actually the last thing that we need to that we need to get before we can just finish the game properly. But everything is set up quite nicely. Eleven minutes already play, so played so that the game doesn't or uh, won't last that that long. Because the dragon is killed by Hyatir himself, he's soloing it, and I start the Dark Slayer. Um, with Annette, but I think I will soon realize that we have to keep pushing the the lanes. Oh no, everything grouped to, group together, so I would have another game in mind. So, but, but look how fast that health bar is decreasing from Dark Slayer. So now we have the we have, have the dragon from Dark Slayer. So everything is set up, and we can basically just take one last attempt to finish the game. Uh, Hayate is still down at the bottom lane. He's going to come and help us pretty soonish, I suppose. And right now everything is grouping up. Grok goes in. I'm going in as well. And that's the problem because we don't have a real tank. Um, as you can see, like we have quite squishy heroes. We've got Dio-chan, we've got Annette, we've got Yorn, and we've got Hayate. So we do... Uh, focus on damage more than we do on surveillability. So this was pr pretty much um, pretty much I had to go in and bait them or soak up damage in order to make this play happen. But as you see, um, the strategy falls right into place. We won the game. I went in. We got to kill the whole enemy team, and that's a nice win there. I would say, supposedly. So yeah, let's check the stats for the. Let's check the stats as we always do. I can already say that it won't be that good. Dio-chan scored MVP here, which is quite nicely on Dio-chan on platinum level. Um, first 50 of the game for me. Everyone gets a really nice thumbs up because that was really decent team play. And uh, with 9-6-3-3-9, I'm the worst player. Oh, no stats for you. Okay, guys, so that was it. I'm Void of Dust Gaming, and uh, unfortunately, I'm out right now. Bye-bye.